Yo, what's going on guys? I like my new setup. I got some new floodlights here. I got a new camera light up there. I'm not actually sure what that what the professional name of that is, but everything looks a lot better. Today, in this video, I'm going to Fool you with my replacement jutsu. In this video, guys, I'm going to show you how to make this super cool kunai alert that I have for my stream. And in future videos, I'm actually going to cover all the alerts I have for my stream. We're also going to kind of tick them up a notch in coolness. But in this video, we're focusing on the kunai knife alert. Let's check it out. I know you guys hear me say it in every single one of my videos, but for those of you that are new here, just so you know, all the stuff that I make in every single one of my videos is for free, uh, available for download in my Discord server. Also, keep in mind, guys, we offer free help when setting up things for your stream when it comes to audio, video, or even stream alerts for free in my Discord server. In this video, guys, we're going to cover a few things. We're going to be using After Effects to create this animation slash alert. This is actually the alert I use for followers in my stream it's a very basic alert it's a kunai knife being thrown at the webcam frame sticking into the webcam frame and then the smoke making it disappear we're basically just going to be adding some transform to the kunai knife itself and then an opacity and a liquefy effect on the smoke to add the nice smoking effect once we get the animation actually made we will use Premiere Pro to export that file as a WebM file so we can have the alpha channel and the transparency of the animation. And then I will show you how you'll set that up. So let's dive into it. All right, so first things first, we're gonna create a new composition. Make sure it's 1920 by 1080. We want to fill the screen. My duration set at a minute. I really don't need it to be a minute. So I'm going to put it down to 10 seconds time. I'd make it 10 seconds and hit OK on that. All right, so first we need to go in, import the files that we downloaded. So, and we're going to upload the Kunai Knife and the Shadow Clone Smoke. So make sure you upload both of those real quick. We are also going to upload the webcam frame that we use. The reason we want to do this is so that we can get the animation looking the way we want it to. All right, so the first thing I'm going to put on the timeline is the webcam frame. I'm going to size this down quite a bit here. So grabbing one of these corners and then pressing shift if you don't if you press shift before it won't let you grab the corner so grab the corner first then hold down on shift and size it down to just about what it would look like on your stream and then place it in the location where you would have it on your stream next thing i'm going to do is drag and drop both the kunai knife and the shadow cone smoke into the timeline down here i'm going to put the kunai knife below the shadow clone smoke so it should be the kunai knife and then the webcam frame and then the shadow clone smoke something else i'm going to do here is hit this little transparency icon so i can see what what i'm working with here the black was kind of distracting and then next, I'm going to hit the eyeball next to the shadow clone smoke because I don't need to see that quite yet. First thing I'm going to do is hit the drop down on the kunai knife. I'm going to drop down the transform and I'm going to scale it down quite a bit because obviously it's quite big. I'm very proud of this kunai knife. I actually hand drew this. I think about 20% should be good on that. And then I'm going to rotate it about 22 degrees. Well, what we're going to do is start with this off the screen over here to the left what we're trying to do is make it look as if it was thrown at the webcam frame and then we're gonna hit the keyframe button the time code down here on the position we're also gonna hit it with the rotation all right so once you've gotten the position and rotation toggled down below what we're gonna do is drag this out to about 15 on that timeline there and then we're gonna drag that kunai knife straight across to that webcam frame we're also going to rotate it to about 50 degrees and then we're going to go backtrack to about the eight or seven and we're going to drag this up just a hair so it has that nice trajectory type of look to it and as it's as you play it here it should look as if it's actually been thrown at the webcam frame 
Now we're ready to get the Shadow Clone Smoke position. So go ahead and hit the eye icon down there so we can view the smoke. We're actually going to drag this out to about five seconds here. And then we obviously need to size this down and then position it over the kunai knife itself. You want it to be covering the kunai knife uh, fully. So right about there is perfect. What we're going to do is add a liquify effect to the sh Shadow Clone Smoke. So right click on that source, go to Effect, go to Distort, and then go to Liquify. We need to make it so the Shadow Clone Smoke appears and it's not just sitting here the whole time. So what we're gonna do is go back to about 445 seconds. I'm gonna toggle the opacity here, the opacity keyframe right there at 0%. And then I'm going to go back to five seconds and I'm going to put this back up to 100%. That way the shadow clone smoke fades in like that at five seconds. I'm also going to go to five and a half seconds here. I'm going to toggle again an opacity keyframe and then I'm going to go fifth to 545 and put that at zero. So this shadow clone smoke is going to be active for about a half a second the next thing we need to do is make it look as if it's actually smoke so it needs to not be standing still and the way we're going to do that is by rotating the image and then also liquefying it so the first thing we're going to do is back at this 445 keyframe we're going to toggle a rotation and then back at the 545 keyframe we're also going to do a rotation we're gonna make this go two cycles here. Let's see what that looks like for that rotation. That should be good. Actually, it seems still a bit fast. So let's actually just do one full rotation on that because once we add the liquify, it should look perfect. So that looks pretty good to me. Then we're gonna to go to the five second keyframe. We're gonna hit the drop down for effects. That's where we're gonna find the liquify effect that we added and hit the drop down for the liquify effect. Go ahead and toggle the distortion mesh keyframe here now liquify is going to allow us to warp this image as if it were liquid as you can see here there's different types of tools that you can use there's also different warp uh, options so you can change the brush stride uh, the bus brush size and the brush pressure brush pressure is going to adjust how much liquefying it's going to do to the image and then the size is obviously how big that liquify effect is so we're going to use this first tool here i'm going to put the brush pressure up at 150 and then i'm going to put the keyframe over here at 530 so i'm going to click this tool again and what i'm going to do is literally just swirl it up to the left once you get it swirled up real nice this is what it should look like it should just swirl just kind of just like that um the way we're going to make it look as if it's smoke like dissipating what we're going to do is put another keyframe right around out here i'm going to use uh, this tool again and what i'm going to do is just really really just make it swirled up so so the uh, smoke as is looks as if it's just uh, separating there and then i'm going to drag that keyframe out to that 545 marker and it should look something like this the next thing we need to do is make that kunai knife disappear. So going back to the kunai knife transform, I'm going to toggle the opacity at right around 527 here where it's fully covered by the smoke. And then I'm going to go to 529 and make the opacity zero. So when the smoke passes over the kunai knife, it just casually disappears next thing we're going to do is go ahead and toggle the eye icon on that webcam frame and this is going to be the full alert last for five seconds once we have that fully set up we're going to go ahead and save this file click save as and remember the file location that you save it at and open adobe premiere pro once you're in premiere pro you're going to need to import the kunai knife file the adobe after effects file that you just saved from After Effects. And then there are two sound files that I have uploaded in my Discord server as well. One is the Kunai Knife sound effect and the other is the Clone Smoke sound effect. We're going to put the Kunai Knife sound effect at the beginning of this animation. It's going to make it sound like it's being thrown at the webcam frame and sticking into it. And then we're going to put the Shadow Clone Smoke sound effect when the Shadow Clone smoke appears in the animation that way it sounds like the shadow clone smoke is appearing 
and disappearing. Once you got these things set up correctly, what we're going to do is go to file, go to export, export media. Make sure that you have the format set to WebM. You're also going to want to make sure that your export audio is also toggled. Scroll down on the video section here and make sure the include alpha channel is selected. You can change where the output of this file is being saved at by clicking that blue link there. We're gonna, I'm saving it as a kunai knife uh, file name, save, and go ahead and hit export. Now we're ready to upload this into stream elements. In my last video, we made an overlay for the sleek webcam frame with the color changing alert. We're going to add this alert to that overlay. So go ahead and hit the uh, overlay editor icon. On this overlay, we're going to add another widget. We're going to add a new alert box. We're also going to untoggle all everything but the follow alert here. What we're going to do is hit this cog wheel on the follow alert, hit the X on the video, hit the clear sound and click change video. Here we're going to upload that video that we just saved from Premiere Pro. So go ahead and hit the upload button and upload that WebM file. Next, we're going to change the layout to text over image. We're going to go to text settings. We're going to enable custom font. We're going to change the font to Platea. We're going to keep the font size at 30. We're going to go to advanced. We're going to put a top margin of 300 here to be sure that I don't move the webcam frame and the webcam color change animation around. I'm going to toggle the lock layer on both of those alert boxes. I want to resize this window quite big here so we can see what it looks like. So I'm going to emulate a follower event again. All right, so this is what it looks like. What we're going to do is adjust the location to where that kunai knife is landing on the webcam frame. I want to size it up quite a bit so that the kunai knife isn't too small and you can actually tell that it is a kunai knife when you see this on stream. That is the size I'm going for. So the next thing I'm going to do is make adjustments to this text. Um, the text might be, the text size is actually fairly good. We just need to make sure that it is apparent, appearing fully on this screen. Otherwise it won't be shown on the stream. So going back to the follower settings, going back to text settings, what we're going to do is go back to advanced. The top margin, I'm actually gonna set this to about 280. I'm also going to put a left margin here of about 500. That way it keeps it off this left side bound. Actually for bigger names, I wanna even make this probably 700 bound. I'm going to hit save on that and I'm going to emulate another follower event. This is what it will look like. Um, I do not like the color of this of this animation. I do want it to be a bit more of a color that I have here on this webcam frame. So what I'm going to do is change that color to something a little more bluey and then I'm going to test it again. That looks a lot better. Last but not least, we need to drag this kunai knife alert below the webcam frame in the color changing alert and hit save. Once you get that browser source loaded up into OBS, this is what it looks like. Make sure you set that browser source to 1920 by 1080 and size it up to the way you want it. Now you can test the follow alert in OBS to see what it would actually look like on stream. I'm gonna do that here for you. That's exactly what it will look like win on stream and i think that looks so beautiful i want to remind you guys that this stuff is available for free to download in my discord server the animation is available there as well the webm file and then also all the sound effects and the art that you need for that for actually creating that animation if you want to make your make it your own or make your own changes to it feel free to do so also, guys, if you would, if you're using this stuff, do me a solid, hit that subscribe button and ring the notification bell to know when I release my next videos. If you like free stuff, if you like graphic design, if you like animation, if you like Twitch stuff, I do that here on this channel. So do me a solid and hit subscribe. I want to thank you guys so much for watching this video. In future videos, I'm going to be showing you how to do the Razen Gun and Shidori animations that I have for my webcam as well. And we're really going to dive into some OBS stuff. And I mean, it's gonna be a, it's gonna be dope. Not to say.